draw the feedback diagram of the 50 kg paper roll which has a center of mass at G and rest on the smooth blade of the paper holder. Explain the significance of each force acting on the diagram. Okay, so what we've got here, we need to draw the three point diagram of this paper, only this paper roll. So let me draw the three point diagram. So I've got I've got two constraints, one's this and one is this. So what are the active force? That's the gravitational force acting downward. That is my active force. And then I've got two reactive force coming from the support. So I've got a support from here. That will be my one reactive force. And this is my second reactive force. So this is my feedback diagram. I have to put the dimensions here. And that's the and, and the angle given here. So in simple words, let's have a look. That's your free body diagram. You've got the support reaction, and you've got your active force acting downward. Let's look at this example. Here we've got draw the viewpoint diagram of the member AB. Where is the member? So this is your member AB. So we have to draw its viewpoint diagram, which is supported by a roller at A. We've got a roller at this end and a pin at B at this end. So we need to draw the viewpoint diagram. So viewpoint diagram means you make the outline of the structure and then you cut it off from the surrounding. You don't look at the surrounding. So on this one, I will have something like this. I will look at the, uh, at the active force and that's my active force acting here, which is 390 pounds. Excuse me, sorry. I look at the, at the uh, support. It's a 2D, so support about three degree of freedom. It is free to rotate because it's pinned, but I cannot move the pivot point up down. Therefore, there'll be two reaction force. So that would be here and here, or it could be here and here. So remember, so two reactive forces. There's another support. Uh, sorry, I have to write here, two reactive force. There's another uh, support which is here at net angle. And uh, if I look at this, it's a roller. So remember roller, you can lift it, yes. It can rotate, the lever can rotate because it's a roller. But the lever cannot go down because it's the ground reaction force. So the reaction force will be perpendicular to the surface. And then I've got a couple more being created here. So our fibro diagram looks something like this. Thank <laughs> you.